Can you tell me like in your view, what you, what we're paying for every year when we pay a CPA to do our taxes, should there be guidance or, you know, well, it, it, it really depends on what you want the CPA for. If, if you want somebody who's a historian and just wants to get the tax, your tax returns out of the way, that's fine. But you know, you, you really have to look at is my advisor an expense or is my advisor an asset? right? An asset pays dividends, right? An asset builds you wealth, whereas an expense is something you're trying to minimize that expense. So if, if all you're looking at is, it's really up to you to determine what's your perspective on your team members, on your advisors. If you go, well, look, I just want this tax return done. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to learn anything. Uh, there's nothing I can do to reduce your taxes. I can tell you what you have to do, but I can't do it for you. So if you're not willing to participate in, 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 um, you know, in your building, in your wealth building, if you want to turn it over to somebody else, then probably you should just use somebody who's a historian. But if you want to actually make an impact on your wealth and particularly on your taxes, your, the biggest single um, amount of dollars that you spend, that frankly, you could have back and invest then what you want to be doing is uh, meet with a tax advisor who actually understands the law and is looking forward, not backward. So the challenge is CPAs tend to look backward. Uh, most of them, what we try to do at WealthAbility is look forward.